Greetings everyone, my name is Onalena Marumo. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for joining me again. So in today's exercise, as you would have seen from the title of this video, we are going to price items in this bill of quantities. And these items are under the trade uh, masonry. Now going down to the items that we will be measuring, what we know here or what we have been given is obviously the description of work. And in the description of work, we are pricing the brickwork of NFX bricks in class two mortar. And this is in a half brick wall, which consists of a single skin of wall and also in a one brick wall, which consists of two skins of brick wall. All right. Now we also know the unit in which these two items are measured. And as you can see, they're measured in square meters. We also know the quantities of work for each brick wall. So for the half brick wall, we have 405 square meters. And then for the one brick wall, we have a total of 2,145 square meters. Now, what we do not know are the rates for these items of work. And our task in today's exercise is to build up rates for each of these items, insert them against the respective quantities, and then proceed to multiply the rates by the quantities to, the, to determine the total cost of uh, the total cost for each item of work. Now, very briefly, when building up a unit rate, we need to take the following components into account, right? We have the material costs, the labor costs, the plant, if required, um, overheads, profit. Now, to kick off this rate build up, we are going to start off with measuring the net cost of one cubic meter of mortar right and this is the information that has been given or provided uh, we have 25 percent reduction that is there is a reduction of 25 percent of our dry materials when mixed and this is because when dry mortar ingredients are mixed with water to create wet mortar there is a reduction uh, in the volume of 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 our uh, ingredients right we have a mixed ratio of one is to five that is one part cement uh, to five parts sand, okay? And then our joints are at 10 millimeters thick. Now, using the given information, we know that the materials that make up mortar are cement and um, sand and water, which is also an essential component um, of mortar. However, I have excluded water from this calculation because normally water is priced under the P's and G's section of the bill. Okay, so we're only going to focus on uh, the two materials, which is cement and sand. Now, moving on to the table on the right, we have the unit column, and there we see that cement is measured in bags, right, and um, sand in cubic meters. The quantity column is empty currently uh, because we still must determine the quantities of cement and sand needed for one cubic meter of mortar. And then I've already inserted the rates or the cost price um, of these two components. And these may not necessarily be current market prices. You would have to check, obviously, um, either online or at the stores. What is important to note is that the exclusive of um, that. We have one cubic meter of dry mortar ingredients, right? And we know that when these ingredients are mixed, there is a reduction of 25%. Uh, this means that when one cubic meter of the dry ingredients are mixed, the resulting volume of wet mortar shrinks to 0 0.75 cubic meters. However, our objective isn't 0 0.75 cubic meters of wet mortar. We want one cubic meter of wet mortar. Therefore, to find the quantity of dry ingredients needed for one cubic meter of, um, of wet mortar, we will cross multiply right and we come to a total of 1.3333 uh, of dry ingredients to achieve one cubic meter of wet mortar accounting for the shrinkage that occurs during mixing all right therefore 
you would need approximately 1.33 cubic meters of dry ingredients to achieve one cubic meter of wet mortar. All right now let's calculate the quantities. Now using the mix ratio to get the quantities of cement we go 1 over 6 multiplied by 1.33 cubic meters of dry um, ingredients or components and at this stage we would have the volume of cement however because cement is ordered in bags we need to convert this volume into bags and to convert it into bags we're going to multiply it by 30.3 30.3 bags and that gives us a total of 6.733 bags of cement that we need okay now moving on to the sand we'll say 5 divided by 6 multiplied by 1. 33 cubic meters of dry ingredients right and that gives us a total of 1.111 cubic meters of sand all right and this gives us a net cost of 1000 rands for one cubic meter of mortar using the mix ratio 1 is to 5 right Okay, so now we can use this information when building up our rates for the different uh, brick walls. The first one we're going to start with is the half brick wall. Okay, now obviously as explained earlier, or as mentioned earlier, the half brick wall consists of a single skin. And the size of our wall is a 222 millimeter by 106 millimeter by 73 millimeters. Now let us just go over uh, our inputs. Okay, so we have information on our labor, and what we are told is that one brick layer, assisted by two general laborers, can lay 600 bricks per day. Right, 600 bricks in a day. Okay. And then that takes care of our labor component. And then moving on to the materials, we have mortar. We have already worked out. Um, we have already worked out the cost of one cubic meter of mortar. So that is why we have that cost over there. And then for the bricks, we're saying a thousand bricks costs roughly one thousand nine hundred and fifty rands okay so now what we need to determine in this exercise are the factors or quantities that are required in one square meter of a half brick wall and then as you can see there for our mortar we have a 30 percent waste right this can be as high as 50 percent depending obviously on a number of factors but for this exercise we are going to use 30 percent now the first uh, factor we are going to determine is the volume of mortar that we need in one square meter of a half brick wall and in order to do that we are going to follow these simple steps the first thing we are going to do is calculate the volume of mortar on one brick and you can simply do this by saying volume of mortar in one brick uh, is equal to 0 0.232 times 0 0.106 times 0 0.01 and that is for the horizontal uh, mortar right plus 0 0.073 times 0 0.106 times 0 0.01 and that is for the vertical uh, joint that gives us a total volume of 0 0.0003 cubic meters of mortar on one brick okay now, next, we want to um, calculate the number of bricks in one square meter, right? And to do that, we would say the number of bricks in one square meter, that is one meter by one meter, is equal to a thousand millimeters divided by 222 plus 10 millimeters multiplied by 
the vertical length 1000 millimeters divided by 73 plus 10 millimeters and that gives us a total of 51.93 and then obviously we round that off to 52 bricks so we have the two bricks in one square meter of a half brick wall now that is excluding waste to this point when we add waste, we come up to a total of 55 bricks. We will take the volume of mortar on one brick, multiply it by the number of bricks in one square meter of a half brick wall, and we come up to a total of 0 0.01763 cubic meters of um, mortar. And these are 30% that we will include in our rate build up. And we have determined the number of bricks in one square meter, including waste. And we said it's 55 bricks. But because that price is for 1,000 bricks, we will say 55 divided by 1,000. Okay. So now let us move to the actual rate build up. So we have there our labor materials and profit and then the total cost okay so we already have the quantities for uh, our materials let us start with that first and then we will work out the labor cost afterwards right uh, please note that the 30 percent has been added to this calculation here for our mortar right? so multiplied by 1.3 which gives us a total of 23 rands 52 cents okay and then let's get our bricks and then we have a total of 107 107 rands 20 107 rands and 25 cents for our bricks okay so now to determine the hours it takes the brick layer to lay one square meter of a half brick wall we are going to use a labor constant right so a labor constant is used to determine the average time it takes one operator in our case our brick layer to do one unit of work right so using an eight hour day we say one brick layer times eight hours divided by 600 bricks per day so that we're able to get how many bricks he's able to lay in an hour and then we multiply that by 55 bricks per square meter and we then get 0 0.727 hours per square meter so it takes our brick layer 0 0.727 hours to lay one square meter of a half brick wall all right so we come here to the quantity column we put 0 0.7 to seven hours now because our laborers are just assisting the brick layer we take the hours of the brick layer and multiply by two because we have two laborers and that gives us a total of 72 rands 23 cents for our labor cost okay so to get the total cost we add these two together and they give us 203 rands and then we add our profit to that and we come to a total of 223 rands and 30 cents if you are happy with that um, rate per square meter we can go back to our boq and then put down the rate and that gives us a total of 90,000 for the half brick wall just like that we're done pricing that item of work all right okay, so now moving on to the one brick wall um the information for our labor and the output remains the same uh the mortar cost also remains the same the bricks it's still 1950 and we're still working we're still working with 30 percent um as a waste factor all right the number of bricks in one square meter of uh, a one brick wall 110 right because we would have we would have said a 55 multiplied by 2 and that gives us 110 bricks in one square meter of a one brick wall okay and then uh, the volume of mortar on one brick remains the same and then to get the total volume just as we did um, for the half brick wall we take the volume of mortar on one brick and multiply it by the number of bricks and that gives us a total of 0 0.035563 cubic meters of mortar 
to this quantity we are going to add a layer of one meter by one meter by 0 0.01 meters between the two skins and that gives us a total of 0 0.01 when we add these two together we get a total volume of 0 0.045563 cubic meters of mortar all right in one square meter of a one brick wall all right so now that we have um established the volume of mortar we can just put the information down that is what we come up to and then for our bricks there's 110 bricks and the rate that we have there is per thousand bricks so divide that by a thousand and that gives us 0 0.110 now moving on to the actual rate build up we have the cost of our materials um, at 275 rands 28 cents we have also taken into account the 30 percent of um, waste on our mortar right so what we need to uh, calculate or determine are the hours it takes our bricklayer to lay one square meter of a one brick wall and to do that we are going to use the labor constant just as we did with the half brick wall so using an eight hour day we'll say one brick layer times eight hours divided by 600 bricks per day and that is to determine how many bricks the brick layer is able to lay in one hour so it's a one brick layer times eight hours divided by 600 bricks per day and then multiply that by 110 bricks per square meter and that gives us a total of 1.467 hours per square meter so it means that it takes our brick layer 1.467 hours right to lay one square meter of a one brick wall right so we multiply the brick layers hours by two because we have two la two laborers right and then we get a total cost or total labor cost of 145 francs and 76 cents and then we add these two together and that gives us a total of 421 rands and five cents and then we add our profit and then we end up with a total of 463 rands and 15 cents if you are happy with this then we can go back to the boq and put that rate down and we get a total of 993 000 rands for the one brick wall now we have reached the end of this pricing exercise if you have any questions do put them in the comment section and I will attend to them as soon as I can. Uh, I hope that you found this informative and helpful uh, and do stay tuned for the next video where we will do a material list for these items of work. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it.